we are back down at the mobile home and I had told you yesterday that I would show you the things we got. I'm going to show you some of the things that I got that are already in here that I brought in and then I'll show you the, the rest. We got this sandpaper for the um, sander. We forgot to bring the sander though, but that's okay. We don't need it today. Um, got this sandpaper, but it's for metal. It was only 40 cent for 25 sheets. I got this because of something I was thinking about doing, but I don't know if I'm going to do it now or not because Jeff and us, we're going to do a little bit more research before we decide. All right, and then we got the whole saws. These were $6.50 for this set. Um, and he thinks he can use this with the old uh, th the other attachments. And if he can, that'll be good. And maybe we can be able to put all of this stuff in his case because the old set came with a case. So um, that's what we got. I'm going to take this to the to Noah's room because that's where I think we're going to get started in that room to do Noah's shower <laughs> because that's where the access panel is. So we're going to be getting started in there. And uh, I'll show you the other stuff before I do, though, because, um, well, part of it I won't be helping get, but part of it I can do myself. So I'm going to go grab that stuff, and I'm going to show you what it is. But first, got to ask Jeff where he wants me to put it. Okay, so I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, but we already had one of these boxes of this. But we got four more boxes of this Cedar Safe closet liner. Um... Is tongue and groove cedar. We're not going to put it in our closets, most likely. What I think that I want to do is put it in the pantry because cedar does keep certain types of insects and things out. So um, I want to possibly use it in there because it's supposed to get rid of or keep cockroaches, silverfish, moths, and it's supposed to also help not have mildew. But anyway, I don't know. I just love cedar anyway. And I'm not going to paint it. I'm not going to polyurethane it or anything like that. It's going to be just like it is. Raw wood. And we also, there went a bug. <laughs> of course, it's a construction zone. I, I don't know what kind of bug it was. <laughs> don't tell it. We also had those two pieces of cedar down there that we just brought down here today. Um, and in here... I brought all this in here because this is where it's going to be used. Well, in the bedroom and in the bathroom. A bunch of molding. <laughs> so, we got this. We got some corner molding. And then, there's only one piece of corner. One or two pieces. Wow, it's a, it's a mess. We got four or five. We got five of these for around the bathtub. Oh, here's the corner molding. We got several pieces of corner, but we have got one that's this type. This is for the living room. So, whoop, there's a piece of plywood in the way. Anyway, I'm going to take this back in here because it goes right here on this. All right, and I did choose to get PVC. Right, hold on, let me turn the camera around. I did choose to get PVC because it was actually cheaper than wood um, and that other stuff that they had. It's lighter weight and I don't have to paint it and all of the things that I'm doing with this or staining or anything like that, I want to keep white anyway. So I felt like that was the best thing to do. And if I do want to paint it, it's not hard to do. You just paint it. But I did choose to get that or we chose to get that because of those reasons. It's lighter weight. It was cheaper. That was one of the main things. And there's less maintenance right now. <laughs> we can just put it up and let it be. And then, you know, we can go back and paint over the nails and stuff like that if we want to. Or brads or whatever we use. Brad nails. The toilets are still on the truck. I don't know when he's taking those off. But I'm definitely not because they're too heavy. I'm out helping, but I'm not going to do it myself. <laughs> But we did get two dual flush toilets. And I did mention to him that I wanted to go ahead and get that one bathroom, get the flooring put in there so we can put the toilet down. 
he didn't say anything yet but uh i could do the flooring by myself i just have to have help seat and set in the toilet but i could hook the toilet up otherwise i just can't lift the toilet i don't think but anyways um i'll be back or we'll be back whenever we're doing something else he's over there thinking but i don't know what he's thinking about
Well, that's why I get out of my wish. You better watch them out. What do you mean you're the first letter? You're the first letter. Yeah, I think that's uh, because something else ain't right about it. As long as the shower is crazy, it's just... So I'm going to be over your hands, Oh, that's what you Jeff's got to trim the whoops he's gonna trim the trim up there so we can put this on and then he's gonna put the shower head on but it works just fine in fact his might work better than ours but now the tub and all needs to be cleaned it's very yellow and the other day we took a sticker off that's the color it's supposed to be and I know this kind of tub yellows but I'm wondering if we can do something about that. But anyways, needs a good scrubbing, as you can see. But uh, the shower works, so that's good. That's a plus in my book. Okay, so Jeff is working on the drain in Noah's bathroom. Noah and I put this piece of trim up. It looks really good. And he's working on doing some more of that top part because he never got finished with that because we left that night. Um, he's got to do that little corner and then the tower is what we've been calling it so he's going to do that i don't know what else we're doing today because we've talked about seeing if the air conditioner worked we've talked about starting the flooring in the bathroom so that we can put the new toilet down so we have a working toilet um which we can use one of the toilets you just have to pour water in to flush it and we don't like that um we we've talked about lots of things but I don't know what we're doing next. So, I guess we'll have to figure that out. Um, I just thought about, I should have went ahead and bought some trim for the kitchen to go ahead and finish this. We may start on the trim in our bedroom. Uh, I'll find out what Jeff, if he wants to do that once he gets done. Noah is, after the sun kind of goes down on, after there's some shade on the front side of the house, He's gonna start working on the trim in here again to do around the windows and the fireplace in that corner. Did you get something here? I'll be back. Okay, he got in a splinter, but we took care of it, put some alcohol on it and stuff. Um, what you doing? You got it? Oh, you caught around that. Did you clean it first? I ain't just that thing. Well, we got a key. He was caulking stuff that needed caulking. I thought you were working on the other part. Thanks. I always wanted some of that. Do what now? You're fixing to? Okay. So he's about to do the drain. And the shower. He's got the shower head on now. And all of it's put together. So we have a wor two working showers now. So that's great. Um, and we got the kitchen sink and one bathroom sink and he's gonna get the other bathroom sink in just a few minutes so I'll be back whenever we figure out what else is going on okay so Noah has finished his stuff Jeff is testing the drain they're about to see if they can move the air conditioner um, and if it works we'll have some air conditioning for while we're down here working and if it does not work then we're gonna go uh, get some window units because that will be cheaper than buying a heat pump right now and we'll just have to save to get a heat pump um unless we decided to go in debt and that's the whole point of this is to not be in debt because we could get one on credit because we have good credit but we just don't want to do that but anyway noah has aired up the tires on the lawnmower wow there's a gnat trying to get at me He's aired the tires up on the lawnmower so that he can, um, they're going to try to move it with that. So, I'm going to 
gonna try to set the camera up at the window over there so maybe y'all can see that I don't know if the air conditioner is gonna work though because Ricky who we bought the house from said that whenever they moved out it worked but it's been sitting there for years not being used so Freon could have leaked out it just could have gotten corroded or whatever so we'll see I guess maybe today I don't know I don't know if they're gonna get it finished but we'll see what happens hopefully it works Maybe. Okay, so they got it wired and thermostat hooked up, and now he's taking stuff off, which I don't think part of that was supposed to come off. No, I don't think it was either. Well, we're gonna have to get new anyways, probably, aren't we? I don't know. The duct work, anyways. Oh, gotta clean it up. All right, so they're gonna clean it up, and I'll let y'all know if it actually comes on or not. Do you need a vacuum? Probably. There's a bunch of loose stuff right there. It looks like a rat nest or something started right there. Ew. What? Yeah. Ew. We don't want any rat stuff from like it being hit. No, it had to be from before because it's been covered, right? Uh-huh. Ew. All right, well. I'll let y'all know what's happening. Okay, so it turns out that the breaker has some kind of issue. So um, if we want to test that, we're going to have to buy a new breaker. So Jeff is unhooking it, and um, we'll just have to do that later. Uh, Stanley, 
our brother-in-law might have one, but he's busy, like either he's cutting hay or bailing hay or raking hay or doing something with some cow feed. I don't know what, but he's doing something with hay. So he, he can't look to see if he has one right now. So we're moving on to something else, but at least it's closer to the house and um, it'll be simple to hook up because it's right here. So we're gonna move on to either the trim in here or the trim in the bedroom or both. I don't know because I could go back and forth and help Jeff and Noel with both of it uh, because Noah knows exactly how he did this the other day, but Jeff does not. And anyway, we're gonna move on. Okay, so we're gonna start working on the trim in the bedroom. Are we gonna do the bathroom? We're gonna do the bedroom. And uh, I'll record that, but uh, I can't sit that down yet. <laughs> anyway, I'll be recording the bedroom trim because y'all have already seen a lot of the living room trim, but I'm gonna be going back and forth between Jeff and Noah helping both of them do the stuff. Like if they need something that I can do, I'll be the gopher. So that's what's happening. And I'm gonna set the camera up so y'all can see what's going on in the bedroom. Numbed all the pain 
show me how to heal and now I So Jeff got all of this trim done on the the crown molding and he got the little uh, corner molding that we decided to do which is just quarter round we didn't want anything big we didn't want anything extravagant actually it's not quarter round it's corner molding but anyway that's all we wanted something simple and then this is for the access panel um, we had to do something there there's nothing else like that in the room, but it kind of disappears into the wall. It, it's not as noticeable because of what we got, but he got all that done. And we have five pieces and another little bit left. Um, we're gonna figure out what we wanna do around the door here for the two sides. And we're probably gonna use the same thing. I don't know, we may use something different on the doors so I got to figure that out maybe something thin like that is on the bottom of that that's thin so we're gonna show y'all in here what we've done we did the facings on the windows and um, there was a little mismeasurement because Noah had not thought about what was happening and the top boards on all three of these windows is shorter, but I really don't care. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. It's that kind of thing. It's not really going to be anything that's going to matter once we put curtains up. And it's going to look good either way. So, and we can always change it later if it bugs us too much. But I really like, this is going to be loud because of the fan. I really like the way they look with this um live edge on here i really like the way that is and the way that is that is very pretty to me i really like it so i think that oh and we also did that one that piece i think jeff and i are about to work on the fireplace noah is having the same thing that was happening with me and Jeff thinks it's a mixture of like heat exhaustion and maybe um, a little bit of dehydration but he's having the same thing that was happening to me so he's in the truck with the air conditioner on right now and he does have a window cracked but he still has the air conditioner on so he's getting some fresh air but he's getting some cool air too and um, so I felt fine though I brought me some of that electrolyte drink today I brought me that here I'm gonna turn the camera around okay I brought me like a 16 ounce thing of that and I felt fine so it must have helped me um, I'm feeling fine now I don't feel like I did the last couple of times whenever we came down here so I think I'm just gonna either I'm gonna make some more of that make some up you know mix it up for know what I have whenever we come back or I'm just gonna buy some power aids or body armors or something just for while we're down here just to get through this because it is so hot down here and um, Stanley did bring us another breaker but we didn't <laughs> Jeff didn't put it in um, yet so here it is <laughs> looks brand new but anyway he did bring that for us but I don't know um, if the air conditioner is even going to work, but I think what I'm going to do probably is what we're probably going to do is in the office, put the little air conditioner in there and have it closed up so it can cool off. And if we find that we're getting too hot, we can go in there and cool off a little bit, but not, not have 
have it so cool that it's dangerous for us to go in and out of or whatever but something so we can cool off maybe like while we're eating or something like that which i don't know if that's a good idea or not i was going to talk to jeff about it but i mentioned to y'all first but anyways um i'm gonna go so i can help him and we'll show you what we're doing after i figure out how we're doing it because i don't know i don't do the math parts So we got all the trim done in here except around the doors so the fireplace part is done well the doors and the floor so all that's done and so that means we got trim today we got a shower we got well Noah's shower got the trim in the bedroom got um, the what else Noah's um, drain in his bathroom his sink and now i guess jeff is still doing things i thought we were fixing to go he's got noah packing up stuff um noah's feeling a little bit better but we're fixing to go home but now i guess he's caulking things why are you caulking things now oh he just wants to get rid of that okay so i'll be right back
wow, my hair has gone wild worse than normal. So we got all that stuff done, which was a lot of tedious small things, but well, not small, it was big. It makes a big impact to have molding and trim and all that stuff. But um, did a lot of things today and we'll be back tomorrow. I don't know if Noah is gonna come because I'm gonna talk to Jeff about him just staying at home because I don't want him to get another one of the migraines he has gotten in the past. So, um, Jeff and I could just come down here and do some simple stuff, but I don't know yet. We'll decide. But anyway, that is all I have for today. Thank you for hanging out with us. I do appreciate it. And um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing because I really do want to know. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. And if you don't want to leave it there, you can send me an email at mamacatshomestead at gmail.com. And um, you can check out my other channel. It is Mama Cat's Home Plans. If you like planner related stuff. If you like planner decorating and all that kind of stuff. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.